Welcome back to Journaling with Carrie. Hi, I'm Carrie, and we are on day two of Silver Lining Moments, a practice of gratitude and resilience. And this day two, it's still all about you. we start, I had an oops moment. Uh, rewind, pretend that we are at the end of day one. And what I want you to do is on the pages that you wrote yesterday in your journal, you'll notice that at the beginning of each one, a moment of blank is lined by blank. So just take a moment, look at those, what you wrote yesterday, and fill in those blanks. A moment of blank is lined by blank. Um, if you can't think of something, that's okay. You know, go ahead and write a, what I wrote is a moment of journaling is lined by love. Uh, that's in line with my intention for this is to give love out into the world and to give love to myself. So a moment of journaling is lined by love. If you have something else, write your own. Um, go ahead and write that now. All right, now go back to day two. Hi, welcome to day two. In day two, it's still all about you. So as we get started, I want you to think about something. I was thinking about journaling the other day and I just wrote, journaling is a journey into your own soul. It can be one of the most adventurous, courageous, and meaningful journeys you will ever take. Let's get started. I'm going to move to the floor, my writing spot, and you get ready and let's get ready to take an adventure, an adventurous journey into our own soul. I feel like being like a train. Okay, so at the top, just write day two, silver lining moments, day two, silver lining moments, practice of gratitude and resilience. You're going to choose one item that you circled from yesterday. For that item, we're really going to look at it at a deeper and full level. You're going to write about why did you choose this one? What is it? How has it impacted your life? How is it, how is it a cloud in your life now? How is it affecting you? Write all about it. Why did you choose it? What is, what pain, what angst is it causing you? How is it causing you that? And what would you like to see with that? But you can still focus before you go into what you like to see. I really want you to, again, it's the icky part. I want you to feel your why, your feelings about that item. If it's something you're just really angry about and you're not sure why you're angry, just write, I'm angry. You know, this thing, it sucks. It's, I'm just tired of it, whatever. Something that makes you feel sad, you know, feel it. And if feelings come up, I know I, I have this somewhere in writing in the materials, but if feelings come up with this, never feel like you have to go through all this stuff alone. I've worked with a therapist on and off for the last, I think, 25 years. Um, so there's no shame in calling a therapist, calling a friend, getting support. So if you're getting stuck in a feeling, please call a therapist, call a coach, um, call a friend, and know that your journal is your space for you. So that's right. 
It's all about the why for that item. If you're having a hard time choosing which one, don't overthink it. Just choose one. <laughs> You can do this practice more than one time, so you can come back to it later and do the other one. So one's either going to jump out at you, one's going to repulse you, you know, feel like you're pushing away. I encourage you to actually go with that one, or you're maybe none's jumping out more than the other. Don't overthink it. If none of those are jumping out at you, then just go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's it. Okay. And if you want to go to the other ones later, you can. Starting now.
So in the final um, stretch here, I want you to ask yourself, so why did I choose this item? I know that's what you've been writing about, but very clearly crystallized. Why did I choose this item? And try to write just one sentence that really clarifies your why. What is it that you want um, by journaling through this cloud, right? Okay. Okay, that's our time. Um, I was going to say, you know, I thought I was going to do the psoriasis because I really want to heal it. Um, I feel like it's something that's been, that's plagued me now for well, all my adult life. But I'm doing a separate um, cleanse and health eat, healthy eating journey to help hopefully heal it. And in that, I'm dealing with or writing about um, the emotional issues with the psoriasis. And quite honestly, that was, I thought to also do it here because that's a little safe one for me. Um, it doesn't go, it's about a condition that I have. And to me, it's a little safer than dealing with something about my own thoughts or feelings. I don't know, it just felt like it was safer to do that one and to share it with all of you. So I did not choose that one. I chose the, I cheated a little bit. I chose two, but I think they're tied together. So that's why I chose them together. That, remember I said there was that, I felt like there was that lack of something in me and being rejected from Georgetown. I chose that and I wrote about my why, like what it was that this cost me and, and what it is that I want from it. I think the two of these together formed a belief in me that are putting limitations on my success. And I want to remove those limitations. Um, and I want to soar, I want to soar um, to all heights of success and prosperity. So. My why with these is to free myself of these limiting beliefs. And if you're thinking, wait, there's more that I got to do about this yet. I just got to know why I didn't do the other stuff. That's okay. That's what we're here for tomorrow. So we're going to go even deeper tomorrow and look into this more. I will be sharing some more thoughts on what I wrote today 
I won't be sharing the actual things that I wrote in my journal because, you know, that's our private space for everyone. It's your private space for you. It's my private space for me. But I will share a little bit deeper in um, the Silver Lighting Moments Facebook page. So if you want to look at, get an idea of, you know, what is this writing about? What do some people do? You can check it out there. If you're using the journal, I hope you are, <laughs> but if you're not, that's okay too. If you're using the journal, you will see, you know, eventually in the journal pages, you'll get to some quotes as well as the gratitude feeling and resilience building worksheets. We will get to those. I have those um, days. So if you get to it before I have a journaling day, dedicated just to these pages, just skip over it and go to the next one. Um, if you get to one of the silver lining moment stories in your book, just read it, look it over, um, and continue. This workshop isn't necessarily, this journaling series isn't lined with these stories. These stories are just to give you an idea of how we can work through the silver lining moment, how we can look through, work through the clouds in our lives to see the silver lining moments and create a, a story. And now just as the clouds come and go, the stories do not define us, right? But sometimes the lessons learned or the silver lining of those stories can stay with us even beyond. The silver lining of the stories stay with us just as with the light, even though the darkness of those times goes. So like the clouds in our lives go, but the silver lining stays because the silver lining comes from the light and the light is always there. All right, it took me a few tries to get that out, but that, that's the main point. The clouds go, the silver linings stay because the light is always there. Okay, good. All right, with that, Good job for doing day two. Once again, if you, you're still in the the uh, the shade of the cloud, if you will, that's okay. Um, know that the light is there, and so we'll end with how we'll end all of these during today. May you be happy and healthy. May you be free from suffering, financial, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual suffering. May you be free from negativity, drama, and conflict. May you be immersed in peace, prosperity, positive energy, love, and kindness. The clouds do not take away from the light. During today, may you give and may you receive genuine acts of love Alright, I will see you tomorrow for day three. Ciao!